OK, how many of you here are running a private instance of page test? All right, maybe like 2%. How many of you use the public instance pretty often? All right, that's a lot more, probably like 50%. So we love web page test at Etsy, but unfortunately, by default, there's no built-in automation for the tool. Normally, it just outputs essentially what's a log file. So all of your test results go into the web page test log here in the test history, and there's not really a great way to scrape the data out of there. What you'd really like to have is a series of graphs that show you trending performance over time. To accomplish that goal, at Etsy, we wrote a tool called WPT Script. Now, this is an open source tool on GitHub. You can get it today. And we had a few different motivations for writing this. First of all, we wanted to have this long-term synthetic trending, something similar to what you would get with a paid tool like a Keynote or a Gomez or a Catchpoint. We wanted to be able to automate the test process, so tests ran regularly and consistently with some criteria that we specified. We also wanted to have some more controls to be able to script the tests, whether that means logging in, doing multi-page flows, things like that. And we wanted to be able to do all of this at a very low cost. We tried to make the configuration as easy as possible. I'm going to walk through a configuration file for WPT script uh, really quickly here. The first thing you do is you specify a server. Now, this is the server that's running the web page test server itself that you want to connect to. So this can be your private instance, wherever that may be located, or it can be the public web page test.org instance as well. Since all this tool is doing is curling out to the web page test API, you can hit any publicly accessible web page test server with this script. Our server happens to be on EC2. And it's pretty easy to set up there. We simply have three agents. Two of them are running modern browsers, like IE9, Chrome, and Firefox. One is running IE8. And then we have the server itself. These are all on EC2. Again, very simple to set up. And this is what we're hitting with our instance of web page test script. The next item down is locations. You can specify, depending on which agents you have set up, which agents should be running the specific test. And this is dependent on what agents you've configured, either on the public instance or in EC2, or wherever you happen to have your site up. Then obviously you set up some URLs, you give it some labels, you tell it exactly which URL to hit, uh, and this can be arbitrarily large. So you can, this is basically specifying exactly what pages you want to hit with your test. And then finally, you just set up a different uh, set of logging namespaces and configuration for aggregating the results. In our case, we set up a Graphite server where we're going to beacon the data to. We have a logging namespace for Graphite, and we also have a Splunk log so we can pull these, this data into a Splunk. At this point, all you have to do is run the PHP script. This is just a run script like this and you can optionally pass in a configuration file. So you can run different configurations for different tests. So you might have one test that, that logs in, one test that does a multi-page flow, and one test that just hits your home pager, for example. So this makes a request to the web page test API, queues up the tests, and then those, those will all run automatically. The next step is to get the results. So again, this is another very, very simple cron job, and you can do one get results call for an arbitrary number of configuration file runs. In this case, all this is doing is connecting to the web page test API and then pulling down any test results that are existing. It's important to note that you do have full access to the entire web page test scripting language. Pat's built a pretty robust scripting language into web page test, and you can very easily configure WPT script to leverage the scripting and run any arbitrary test you want. Let's dive a little more into gathering the results. The code for this is very simple. Right now, we have set up a Splunk logger and a Graphite logger. And all we do is initialize these classes and then simply log the results out. This results uh, variable that you see here is simply coming back from the web page test API. So this is essentially what WPT script is going to hand you back with all the test data for all the metrics. And it's pretty easy to extend this and add any logger that you want. And this now gives us our, our results. This is what we want. So this ends up with uh, an example graph like this. So this is coming out of Graphite. And this is an example of IE9 hitting a bunch of our major pages over the course of 24 hours. So this is exactly what we want to see, the long-term trending uh, of, of all the tests that we've run over, over any period of time that you choose. It's also important to, to recognize that we have the ability to query any of the metrics that web page test provides. So that graph before happened to be render time, but you can do load time, fully loaded, first byte time, speed index, et cetera. So pretty much any of the metrics that web page test reports in the test results, you can scrape that out and put that into Graphite or Splunk or any other arbitrary logging system that you want to have. So that's pretty much all I have for today. If you want to get in touch, you can contact me on Twitter or via email. And like I said, the code is on GitHub right now if you want to check it out. Thank you.